Okay, today we're talking about lesson 2.10. Module 2 has a lot of lessons. Have you guys noticed? There's like 29 lessons. But you guys did such a good job for the most part. Um, remember how we had a quiz last week? This was the best as a class that we've done. So you guys should feel really proud of yourselves. You guys are doing a good job of learning, of taking good notes, and doing practice problems to help you do well on the test. This is by far the best you guys have done. Okay. Of course, we still have some fabulous fails that we could learn from and test corrections we can do, but I'm very happy and you should be very proud of yourselves. You guys did a really good job. Okay. So today for lesson 2.10, you can see our learning goal is to be able to multiply whole numbers and decimals by renaming the factors. Okay, so let's review what we know about place value. When we have a number like this, 146 and 892 thousandths, each digit is in a different place, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do we call this place right here? The one is in the hundreds. hundreds. Okay, the four is in the tens. tens. The six is in the ones. The eighth is in the tens. And the nine is in the hundreds. What's the difference between this place value? And this place value. Tara? Um, um, the hundreds, it, it has a th -h -s. Yeah, we have to be careful. This one's the hundred. Hundred. It has the extra th, whereas this one is just the hundreds. Good. And then the two is in the thousand. Good. Okay. And we said this one was the tenths, this one's the ones, and this is the tens. Good. This, now, how do we say this number in word form? Sherilyn? Um, seven and four times three is six and three Yeah, we say this is seven and 463 thousandths because this, the rightmost place value is thousandths place, right? So what if I want to break it up into ones and thousandths? How many ones do I have? Seven. 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 Go ahead and write that down. And how many thousandths do I have? 463. Okay, good. Now what happens if I don't actually want to break it up into ones and thousandths, and instead I want to split the whole number up, but this time have tens, or sorry, tenths and thousandths. So I want to split it up right where the tenths are. So how many tenths do I have? All together. How many tenths do I have in this number? Alina? Right, I can see I have 74 tenths because if I'm looking at the tenths place, I can see I have 74 of them. Why is that? The seven ones, how many tenths are there in one one? Ten. There are 10. So if I have seven ones, how many tenths is that? 70. 70 plus the four I have in the tenths place, so that's 74 tenths. How many thousands do I have left over? 63. So is it the same thing to say I have seven ones and 463 thousandths as saying I have 74 tenths and 63 thousandths? Is that the same thing? No. Okay. Now try this one. What if I have that same number, 7.463, but this time I want to break it up into hundredths and thousandths? Go ahead and write that in your notebook. So this time, because I know I want to put it into hundredths and thousandths, I need to look at the hundredths place, which is where the six is. So I know how many hundredths are there in a one? How many hundredths does it take to make one one? Arun? One hundred hundredths equals one one. So if I have seven ones, how many hundredths is that? Seven times one hundred is? Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Okay. Now, what about this tenth? How many hundredths are in one tenth? Sophia? How many hundredths are in one tenth? Um, ten. Ten. So if I have four of them, four times ten is? 40. And then how many hundreds do I have here? I have six. So do you see how that's the same thing as 746 hundredths? And then on the other side, how many thousands do I have? Three. Okay, you should have 43 times two and four tenths written down. Let's first round the factors to estimate the product. Okay, so we can say that 43 is pretty close to what whole number? <coughs> or pretty close to what number? Roni? 40. 40, yeah. And did we round that number up or down? Down. down? down. Yeah, we made it smaller. 
Okay, so we can say that 43 is pretty close to 40, and we rounded it down. What about the second factor, 2.4? We could say that that is pretty close to what number? Lakshan? Uh, two. two. And did we round that number up or down? Down. Okay, so now let's take our rounded factors. 40 times 2. We can do that really quickly in our head. 40 times 2 is? 80. Now, is this estimate going to be lower or higher than our actual product? And how do you know? Vasish, how do you know? <coughs> right, because we rounded both of the factors down, we know that this estimate of 80 is going to be lower than our actual answer. So if we end up with an answer like 75, are we going to be happy? If we end up with an answer like 96, are we going to be happy? Okay. So I'm just going to draw an area model just like I normally would. And at the top, I have the factor 2.4. Now, I want to make that, I want to rename that so that I only, I don't have a decimal. Okay, so what place value is the 4 in? Tenths. So I could say that this is 2 ones and 4 tenths. Or, could I also call it 24 tenths? Let's call it 24 tenths, okay? So what I'm going to do at the top of my area model is I'm going to separate it into 20 tenths and 4 tenths. Okay. Then my other factor is 43. I could split that up just like I normally do, 40 ones and 3 ones. Now I'm ready to multiply. I can do 40 times 20, which is what? 800. But is it 800 ones or is it 800 tenths? Okay. Now over here I have 4 times, or 4 tenths times 40, which is 160, but is it ones or tenths? Okay. Over here I have 3 times 20 tenths, so that's 60 tenths. And then over here, I have 4 tenths times 3, which is what? 12 tenths. 12 tenths. Do you guys see how because my factors up here are tenths, all of my products are also tenths? Okay. So now what we can do is we can add up all those partial products. Now, if I have 800 tenths, what whole number is that the same as? 800. Where do I need to put the decimal point to make this the tenths? Itai? Yeah, between the two zeros. So 800 tenths is really the same as? 80. 80. Good. Now, over here I have 160 tenths. Where do I need to put the decimal point to make that 160 tenths? Arhan? Uh, in between the six and the zero. Yeah, so 160 tenths is really the same as what whole number? 16. 16. Good. Now I have 60 tenths. I'm going to also put it there. So 60 tenths is really the same as what whole number? Okay, and then finally I have 12 tenths, which is really the same as 1 and 2 tenths, isn't it? So now let's add. How many tenths do I have all together? Two. Two. How many ones do I have all together? Thirteen. Thirteen, so I can write the three in the ones place and then regroup ten of those ones. How many tenths do I have all together? Ten. So my final answer is 103 and two tenths. Is that... According to our estimate, is that something we like? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's try the standard algorithm because we know both ways, right? So we can do 43. Now, instead of think thinking about 2 and 4 tenths, let's just call it 24 tenths. Okay. So now we'll, we're going to multiply. 4 times 3 is 12, and we'll regroup the 1. 4 times 4 is? 16, and then we'll add the 1, which is 17. Now we're working at what looks like the tens place. We'll add a 0 here, just like we do for, with normal multiplication. 2 times 3 is? Six. 2 times 4 is? Eight. Okay. Now let's add our partial products. 2 plus 0 is? Two. 7 plus 6 is? Eight. We'll regroup the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 8 is? Eight. Okay. Now this is 1,032. But then we have to bring down this word, which is tenths, right? 
So how can I rewrite this number? 1,032 1, tenths. That's the same as what whole number, Jack? Mm -hmm. 1,032 And 2 tenths. So we can see how when we use the area model and the standard algorithm, we get the same answer. If I were to add up these partial products, would they be the same as something else? What's 800 tenths plus 160 tenths? How many tenths do I have altogether? 960 tenths, which is the same as? 96. Okay. Oh, hold on. It's because I wrote this factor on the top. Hold on. 